when I got into the IFL, um, I would say a lot of people underestimated, who, you know, who I was. After I win the belt, the way that people perceive me now is they know who I am. They know that I'm a fighter. I'm, I'm here to take it to wherever I fight. My ultimate goal as a fighter is to simply be number one in the world. Right, big country Nelson. So like when you look at all the magazines and you look at the rankings, uh, you'd see me in the top 10 or even number one. Roy Nelson is the kind of fighter in which most people, when they go to fight him, have a hard time taking him serious. When I first saw him at the tryouts, and I said it way back when, that um, this guy is going to be the champ. This, this is the real deal. So Roy Nelson, his body, he don't look that great, but uh, I think this doesn't matter. He's a really dangerous fighter. I have to make a war against Ryan Nelson. In the ring, you know, I have to make kind of war. The fans should expect a big battle. Looks can be deceiving, but there's no doubt about that belt. It fits nicely around the waist of Roy Nelson, and he wants to keep it especially fighting his first title defense here in his hometown. Let's go back to Tim now for the introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, this championship bout features the heavyweights of the International Fight League in a bout scheduled for five four-minute rounds. Let's meet the challenger. In the blue corner, he is trained in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and now trains with Matt Lindland's Team Quest his professional record, seven wins and five losses, standing six feet, three inches tall, and weighing 260 pounds, fighting out of Portland, Oregon, please welcome Fabiano Pegelive Schoener. His opponent tonight fighting out of the red corner, trained as a grappler, but has great Brazilian jiu-jitsu submission skills. He trains with Ken Shamrock's Lion's Den. A very impressive professional record follows him, and 11 wins with just two losses. He stands six feet even, and weighed in at fight time at 261 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, here is the reigning heavyweight champion of the International Fight League, Roy Big Country Nelson! Roy Nelson, he's a Nevada resident, always lived here in Las Vegas, got his nickname because he was such a good wrestler, they thought he was like an Iowa guy, so they called him the Big Country Boy. <laughs> How funny is that? Look at the tail of the tape here, boss. And you see two guys have a lot of weight. Oh, yeah. Fabiano Schoener's bread and butter is Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and striking has been his Achilles heel in the past. So I hope that he worked on that since Roy Nelson improved a lot in the striking department. He has also great ground skills, ground and pound, and on top of that is always in shape. Don't let looks fool you here. Guys, Roy, so do you think that pound difference is going to matter in this fight with uh, Schoener? He didn't no. think so. <laughs> 261 to 260 here. <laughs> Yeah, once you go over 235, I would say, or 135, it's, it's, it's not a lot of difference. As you look at Scherner, he is the ground specialist here. What uh, has really come on, and we're seeing this with a lot of guys. Steve Mazzagatti gives the instructions to Nelson and Scherner. Like Roy Nelson, he's like a lot of these guys, he's really developed that striking game, too. He's just really got a big punch. Oh, All right, here we go. Big punch, and his ground and pound is so impressive also. Round one, it is scheduled for four five-minute rounds. The heavyweight title on the line. Roy Nelson defending his for the first time. Scherner willing to stand at the moment. And Nelson now will try to get it to the ground. Goes for the single leg, can't get it. Pushes him in the corner there. There's a lot of weight there coming. I'm, I've seen him training with kettlebells. He swings those things around like they weigh nothing. Oh, 
Interesting, perhaps, that Nelson would be the one trying to get it on the ground yeah, first. It totally surprises me. Because if you look at Schoenner's record, you know, it, it's knockout has been a loss. But this ground and pound, like I said, is also very good from this position. Against Antoine Jouch, he did incredible damage here. Nelson Whoa. trying to unload, can't get close enough. Some long legs, Scherner kind of pushing him away. Pass. Go to side by now. Nope, he's locked up on the other side. But there's not a lot that he can do, Scherner that is. And Roy Nelson's ground game is also very good. And he knows how to use his weight, how to distribute it. Where to put it? Where do you annoy your opponent? You know, lay on the belly the whole time. Take the air away. See, he can put a cross face in here. So he can put him on his back. This is what he wants. See, Scherner keeps rolling into him because he knows if he rolls on his back, that's not good. Yeah, and he dig his dig, dug his uh, head here in, so so you can't hit the back of the head. So there's nothing that uh, Roy Nelson can do here. And you see the action. You hear some of the crowd. They want yeah. Steve Mazzagatti to stand him up. I, I, you know, and I, ten seconds, I would say go up, bring him back up. Nothing happens. Yeah, this is uh, the turtle position. We call this. Yeah, they... There is a look from the Shamrock cramp. is over the shoulder there of Ken Shamrock. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Yeah, now we stop moving a little bit. The booing is helping. Yeah, they got up on their own. Oh, oh. Well, right back down. And now he's the sideline. But with the ropes behind him. If you're watching us in the uh, Nevada area, particularly here in Las Vegas, that was two big guys hitting the mat when you feel the rumble in your house. Yeah, if you think there's no earthquakes here, well, you were wrong. Boom. Roy Nelson trying to get oh, oh, He's got to be able to that's, that's it. He's not going out. First round. Ground and pound. That's what I said. His ground and pound is good. He's put his, he puts his whole body weight into the punch. <laughs> Roy Nelson, the Jackie Chan kick, celebrating. Boy, he just drew back, and it was that quick, boss. You yeah. know, action didn't look like it was picking up. Bam, bam. Two big punches by Roy Nelson. He's still the champ. On the button. Boom. Yeah, that's right. Cheese show some love. for everybody. <laughs> I'm telling you, this guy, we've talked about this before, he could become one of the real stars in MMA. Yes, I truly believe so, because he's the every man's person. I know some people in the bar go right now, I can do this. And a great guy with a wonderful attitude. <laughs> and he is enjoying himself right now. As you look at Fabiano Scherner, it was two big punches from Roy Nelson that put this fight over in the first round. And for Nelson, it was just the old-fashioned way, he kind of muscled it around. The action was dragging a little bit as his girlfriend comes over. That is Jama, the fiance. Hugs and kisses. And so many of the friends there in the in the corner of uh, Roy Nelson. You know, the thing about Nelson coming into this, he had been able to come up with knockouts of Brian Vittel. That really opened up some eyes. And then Antoine Joust to take the title back in December at the Mohegan Sun. So we know about his punching power. Here's the way it unfolds as we look back on the first round of this championship. Nelson 
not coming out with his punches early. Instead, he goes to the ground, which had been his forte up until recent months. And then after it was slow, they stood up on their own. Scherner then taken down by Nelson. Here's how quick a 261 pound man can end a fight. One, two, that's it. Fight called that quickly. Roy Nelson with the knockout of Fabiano Scherner. And with that, he retains the heavyweight belt. Let's get the official time back to the ring. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the official time of this contest Three minutes and 20 seconds of that opening round when referee Steve Mazzagatti steps in to wave it off. The winner by TKO and still heavyweight champion of the International Fight League, Roy Big Country Nelson. And Roy Nelson still ready to go. Don't get too close, camera guys up there. He will. Uh, he may. He may still have too much energy left. We have a very great fight, a great Coach and Kent. Since you have to do something with this victory, I would like you to put the belt on. It fits. I gotta suck in though. <laughs> Said I gotta suck in just a little bit. Wow. Roy, I, I saw you right away going for a takedown. I said, hmm, that's kind of strange that he goes for a takedown. But I, then I said, no, 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 no. He's got a great ground and pound. Was this the game plan? Actually, no, I was looking for the submission. You really, I, I thought you were going to go for strikes. I thought you were going to defend the takedown. No, everybody thinks I'm, gonna, I'm a strike now. Now I'm, now I'm a takedown artist. So I'm just trying to add everything so anybody, you know, watches the fights. They don't know if Roy's gonna knock somebody out or they're gonna take him down or slam him on his head. They're just, you know, it's just something fun to watch. Okay. What, what is the training? What special training you do for your ground and power? Because man, you put your whole body weight behind it and it's very effective. Um, just having a good jiu-jitsu base. As long as you have good base, you can, you know when to strike and when, you, when it's okay to strike. There's some people that strike when their base is all off. As long as I get a good solid base, I mean, as you saw, Took me a little minute to, you know, work. I know you guys booed, but I was working. Um, but once I got it open, in, then I uh, finished it. Wow, very impressive, ladies and gentlemen. Let me hear it for Big Country, Roy Nelson. Woo! They are ready for the country tonight in Las Vegas. Ken Shamrock giving one more hug to his man, Roy Nelson, who defeats Fabio Scherner, a knockout here in the first round to keep that heavyweight belt. Roy Nelson, two punches. He's still the champ. Middleweight title coming up. McGivern and Horwich. We can hear you, Roy.